I can never manage to make these little pieces of hair to look cute on me. Look at them. What is that? It looks like I have super long hairs coming out of my ears. Hair, why are you betraying me like that? I don't know how people manage to make this look so cute. I don't know. Help? I'm gonna just put them behind my ears so that they won't distract us, okay? Hello, lovely people. How are you guys doing? What's up? In today's video, I'm gonna be doing faux inspired makeup tutorial. We'll be doing caramel smoky eye. Ooh. Whenever I say caramel, you know what is the first thing that I think of? Caramel popcorn. I'm not gonna sneeze. I'm not gonna sneeze. I promise I won't sneeze. See? I didn't sneeze. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off really quickly without losing any time with my hair gel. Nope, I'm not gonna use that on my hair. I'm gonna use this on my brows. I found the perfect spoolie, you guys. Can you believe that? I found it and I lost it. I hate me. This one here by Beauty Blender. It's a spoolie on the one end and an angled brush on the other one. And I love this spoolie. I don't know why, but I think that it's so nice. It's just more soft, it's more gentle. It just brushes through my brow hairs better. And it also has this pink brush, which I don't know if I'm using correctly, but I like it. It's something different, you know? I feel like lately we're not coming up with, with new, exciting makeup products, you know? It's all the same, eyeshadows, mascaras. I want new and exciting stuff. We need to get a little bit more creative, that's what I'm trying to say. Is it weird that I can stay here all day brushing my eyebrow hairs? I just really like it. Okay, and now I'll go ahead and fill them in. I love this brow powder though by Urban Decay. I really like the color because the brown is not... Hold on, trying to say good things about you. This shade of brown, I feel like it's perfect for me because it's not too dark or too warm or too cool toned. It's just perfect. Whoa, okay, now that you can see my eyebrows from space, I will prime my eyes for the eyeshadows. I'm planning on using liquid eyeshadows today and some powder ones, but for the most part, I think that I'll be using liquid eyeshadows, cream eyeshadows actually. I love cream eyeshadows, especially when they blend easily because some cream eyeshadows out there are nightmare. Ooh, some eyeshadows out there are nightmare. Kind of rhymes. Alright, so for the cream eyeshadows that I was just telling you about, I was talking about these two here by Colourpop. They have a few shades, but I think that I'm gonna use these two. Now this one is very nice brown shade. I'm excited just looking at it. I want this all over my eyelid. But I think that I will also use some of this lighter one. It's been a really long time since I used cream eyeshadows. So when I'm applying this one, I'm not trying to create any harsh lines or edges. I'm applying and blending it at the same time. Because this one dries out really quickly. And if I let it dry and there are some harsh lines and edges, it will be almost impossible to diffuse them once it's all set into the skin. Look at that perfect brown shade. Okay, and I'm gonna take some of that lighter shade and I'll apply it into my crease, kind of blending that darker shade further into my crease and up to the brow bone. So when you're using cream eyeshadows, blending is a little bit more different than when you're using powder eyeshadows. I feel like with cream eyeshadows, it's a lot easier to blend them if you're using padding motions. Where when you're blending powder eyeshadows, you're using more sweeping motions. There is a slight difference. Look at those nails. Look at those nails. Don't look at this one. I have these press-on nails. I feel like I can't do anything with my hands. They're not even that long, but for me, it's way too much. Now, this is the Zuiva Caramel Palette. And look at it. So nice. I'm gonna take this huge eyeshadow brush by Sigma and I will load it with some of the shade called Finish Sensual, this really nice brown caramel shade. And I will just pat this color all over my eyelid. I love big brushes like this one. They're getting the job done so quickly. Now I'm gonna switch to another brush. This time I'm gonna use a nice big fluffy brush. Zuiva 208 and I will take the shade Universal Delight. This is a nice light beige shade and I will start diffusing this into my crease. This will make everything to look so much more smooth, so much more even and blended. That's exactly what we want. Okay. 
Now I'm taking the shade called Wax Paper and I'll use it to highlight my brow bone. Whoa, okay, all right, that's bright. Look how intense this eyeshadow is. You can use it to erase your mistakes. Like for example, if you took those brown shades way too high to your brow bone, you can use that eyeshadow to kind of you know, bring them down. It will cover them. Next up, I'll go ahead and do a winged eyeliner. This has to be my favorite look for this year. That brown eyeliner added the chocolate to the caramel. Look at those perfect brown shades. I love it so much. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. I used brown eyeliner on purpose. This one here by Milak on liner. I think that brown eyeliner is underrated. I'm wearing brown eyeliner all the time. I love it. I'll go ahead and move on to my primer while I'm explaining you why I love brown eyeliner. But I'm really pale. So black eyeliner on me most of the times looks way too intense. So I like using brown one instead because it's not that dark. It looks a little bit more soft on my really fair complexion. The primer that I'm using today is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm just applying this with my fingers all over my face. I tend to forget how much I like this primer. I always forget that I have it. If you've never used this primer and you're used to your primers feeling like, like a moisturizing cream, this one is very different because it will make your skin super extra sticky. It's like glue. Okay, maybe I'm over exaggerating a little bit, but it makes your skin very, very sticky. Don't say I didn't warn you. I told you. It's like glue. I can literally stick stuff to my face right now. I'm gonna mix the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation in the shade 150 with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation in the shade 150. I want my face to be more matte today. Look at that coverage. Acne scars, pimples, go on. But let's be real here, okay? Let's be real, because I feel like we really often tend to forget that. But my foundation will make my skin look more even. It will get rid of the redness of those acne scars and pimples that I have, but my texture is still here. My foundation can't erase the texture on my face. So I still have some bumps, some acne scars, which go deeper into the skin and create like a little bloop. You know? <laughs> you know those kind of acne scars. You know what I'm trying to say. So don't feel bad if your foundation doesn't cover your texture. It's not... It can't do that. It's there to make your skin look more even, not your texture. So keep that in mind. And don't feel bad. I love the Fenty foundations so much. I don't want to use anything else. If I want more matte finish, I'm just using the soft matte foundation. If I want more dewy finish or my skin feels very dry, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation in the shade 150. <laughs> you know how it goes. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find something better than this. I'm trying. I'm trying really hard, but I can't. I finally found foundation that works for me after years of looking for it. So for my under eyes, I will use these two concealers by It Cosmetics, the Bye Bye Under Eye. So I have the shade medium and I also have the shade light. None of them are matching me, so I'm gonna mix them. And that will make a better match for me. Oh, and by the way, that concealer has very dewy finish. My under eyes look so fresh. Now I'm gonna take some powder and I will set the areas of my face where I'm planning on adding blush, contour, highlighter. I mean, I'm not planning on adding here, but I just have some blemishes in this area. So I wanna set that foundation in place so it's not moving around, but I'm avoiding my under eye area for now. Sigma Sculpt Palette, I will use the contour, to contour my face. I always lift <laughs> my baby hairs when I'm contouring my forehead. Really buffing that contour into my hairline. Because I don't want to look like I have a mask on my face. I want everything to look 
natural, I guess. <laughs> I'm laughing because I, if I'm going for a natural look, I wouldn't do contouring on my forehead, you know? It just, it's something that I do when I'm going for more glam makeup looks, not when I'm trying to look natural, you know? <laughs> and I also wanna take some of this Nabla bronzer here, just gonna bring it on my cheeks a little bit, kind of blending that um, contour. And I'm applying my bronzer higher on my cheeks. I'm not applying it at the same spot where I have my contour. In fact, I'm bringing it almost where I'm gonna apply my, my highlighter. All right, nice. Now for my blush today, I use this. I have a feeling that something might be broken inside there. Oh, it's not that bad. It's bad, but it could be worse. I thought that the whole thing was broken. It's just here on the top. The damage is not that big. It's my lucky day, I guess. <laughs> I'll take some of this more pinky shade. I'm just patting that brush on my face, really building up the color of that blush. When you're using very full coverage foundations and concealers, when your skin looks completely flat, it's really important to use blush. It will bring life back to your face. It will look more alive, more fresh. All right, going back to that Zoeva palette, I'm gonna take a mixture of this brown shade and the beige one, which I also have on my eyelids, and I'll bring them along my lower lashes so that everything looks more complete and that lower lash line area is not bare. Setting that concealer under my under eyes. Under my under eyes? <laughs> what? Come on, you know what I'm trying to say. In my previous video, I said that, that you can use lash glue under your shimmery eyeshadows so that they will come out more bright, more intense, more shiny. But I meant glitter glue. Glitter glue, you guys, not lash glue. First of all, if you really wanna make your shimmers to shine even brighter, you can use, oops, some lash glue. <laughs> I didn't realize that I said lash glue and I was getting comments like, oh my god, I'm gonna try that trick with the lash glue and I was like, oh no and I'm 100% certain that someone tried that trick and they were like, that girl, she's a liar, unsubscribe yeah, that will teach her a lesson I'm sorry, I messed up I wanted to say glitter glue but I said lash glue instead <laughs> Please subscribe back. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and glue on some falsies now and I'll be back. I have my lashes in a pure box like this one and honestly, I don't remember which pair is the one that I'm wearing today. I think that these are House of Lashes, but I'll need to look it up. I will go ahead and spray my face with the Huda Beauty Glow Coco Mist. Mm, 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 mm. For my lipstick today, I'm gonna wear a lip gloss. This is the Natasha Denona Lip Euphoria in the shade Caramel. Everything is caramel today. I wanna look like a caramel popcorn. And I don't know why, but I like lining my lips after I have my lip gloss on. I guess it's because when I have my lip gloss on, that way I'm using less lip liner. I'm not a huge fan of really defined lipstick lines or lip gloss lines or lip liner lines, you know? I like them a little bit more messy, a little bit more faded not so much cut and sharp and crisp. And this one is really nice because it has this brush on the other end and I can use it to kind of smudge my lip liner and blend it with the lip gloss. Oh, hello. I put my hair down. I do this not so often, rarely, almost never. I just don't like my hair to get in my face when I do my makeup. But lately I just started letting my hair do whatever it wants and be however it wants because I feel like buns and ponytails are giving me headache. But it's all my fault because when I do a bun or a ponytail, I pull my hair so tight, it hurts. Can you tell that something is missing from this look? Something very important to me, something very precious to me. My shimmers, my precious little shimmers. My hair is down, there are no shimmers on my eyes. Who am I? What happened to me? I'm a new human. I had an update. You know how your phone goes through updates from time to time? I feel like that's happening to me too. But anyways, you guys, I really hope you like I'm constantly touching my hair now, see? That's why I don't like when my hair is down. I hope you guys like our caramel faux inspired makeup look. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to go and take some photos of it, post it on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you can go ahead and do it now. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, and if you guys enjoyed watching this video, I would really appreciate it if you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Why do I say big thumbs up? Like, you don't have an option to give it a small thumbs up. Gently press that thumbs up button. 
this is the thumbs up button. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!